Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, some of y'all may have remembered that we used to do this thing called Car Talks um, every week with, you know, the Joshua Quest vlog. I'm going to start doing them again. Uh, so this is going to be the very first new Car Talks, a little bit different. Uh, you get to follow me around uh, just a tiny bit. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, how to run a business, what I faced as running a business, all kinds of different little issues and topics and stuff like that. So come on, let's get in the car and uh, let's start our car talk. Um, it's super, super hot, so if I'm a little sweaty, please forgive me. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you guys today uh, is about focus. Um, as uh, an entrepreneur, a small business owner, um, focus is, is difficult. I mean, there's so many things that are going on throughout the day uh, and so many like directions that your attention can get taken that sometimes it's really, really difficult to focus in on what needs to be done. Um, you know, you can get a phone call from somebody and they say, hey, we need this project now or we need to do this or we need to do that. And so sometimes your focus can get taken from what you originally intended to get done that day and it'll take you in a whole different direction. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes that's not a problem and that needs to happen. You need to work on another project that comes up. Uh, but a lot of times we uh, get distracted and we have this sense of urgency with something that really shouldn't be a priority at that particular moment in time. And so uh, it's really, really important if you're like a small business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, even if you're a student and you're uh, working and going to school and doing different things, you got to figure out how do I focus better? How do I hone in on whatever I'm supposed to be doing? And so there's a couple of things that I've been working on and doing to help focus myself. Um, and I've talked about this in some of the other car talks, the older ones, but I know there's probably some new people watching this and so I want to share a little bit of you know, what I've learned, um, the way that I work and this might help you guys out. So the first thing is waking up early um, is such an important and crucial part for me. Um, I don't do it all the time. I wish that I was better at waking up early, um, but I try to wake up as early as possible. Um, I try to wake up sometime between 6 and 6.30. For some of you guys, y'all are like, what, that's not early. But for me, that is, <laughs> that's really, really early. Um, I used to try to wake up at 5.30, that didn't work out. So, um, so it's between 6 and 6.30 is where I try to wake up. The reason I do that is because my wife doesn't usually wake up that early. If I wake up before her, then there's no distractions in the morning. And so I can make sure that I am taking care of all the things that I need to do in order to get my mind right in the day. So for me, that means uh, praying, reading my Bible. That means kind of focusing in on uh, the morning, sitting down and going through, not social media, going through the news, going through reading a, a, a good book that I know that's gonna help me. So what those do is that, what that does is that sets the tone for the day. And so I know that if I set up certain things in the morning, which I call wins, then I'm good to go. So I say, all right, this is a win for me in the morning. If I accomplish that goal, it gives me some motivation to know, hey, I already accomplished my morning goals. Um, the rest of the day, I'm gonna be able to accomplish the goals that I need to do. And so those are important parts of, of um, you know, setting the tone in the morning. So get up early. The second thing is set up a um, an actions list. Now I call it an actions list rather than a to-do list because a to-do list you work through and a lot of times it gets more frustrating when you don't finish all the things on your to-do list. The actions list is more of um, a series of steps of actions that you're gonna take during that day. Maybe you're not gonna accomplish everything on that to-do list, but if you take an action towards something on that to-do list, then you're, um, you're feeling a lot better about yourself and where you're at uh, and what you're doing. So an actions list is uh, a big and an important part of the day and something that I try to, to create. So at the end of the day, I can look at my actions list and say, hey, I completed these actions or I started moving towards those actions, different things like that. So an actions list uh, is important. The, uh, the third thing, and my dog's chewing on my seatbelt right now. The other thing that, that I, I do is a technique called the Pomodoro technique. So. The Pomodoro Technique is a, um, a really simple, simple technique that I learned about. I don't remember where, but um, basically what you do in the Pomodoro Technique is you set a timer. And so there's applications that you can get online where you basically set a timer. And on that timer, you, um, you have like 20 minutes of work and then a four or five minute break. So 
that timer will tell you, all right, work for 20 minutes straight or 25 minutes straight. And you can change the time, however you know, long your attention span is. For me, it's about 25 minutes. And I work nonstop on that 25 minutes. I don't look at my Instagram. I don't look at my Facebook. I don't look at anything. I just work, work, work for those 25 minutes. Then I get four minutes of break. And so during those four minutes, I'm you know checking my Facebook. I'm checking my Instagram. I'm uh, texting my wife, whatever I need to do. Then after those four minutes are up, that timer goes off. I'm back at work for 25 minutes. And so I do that cycle four times. After you do a set of, um, of four of those Pomodoros, then what ends up happening is you get a long break and that long break is about another 25 minutes. So during that long break, I'll walk around my office. Um, I like to talk to people, so I'll try to talk to people for those 25 minutes. I'll go downstairs and um, you know I'll go visit somebody, say, hey, how you doing, what's, what's going on? But what it does is it breaks up your work into smaller pieces. For me, that's a big deal because I have ADD and so, um, if I don't focus and I try to multitask on certain things, I don't get anything done. And so by breaking it up into chunks, I know that for those 25 minutes, I'm not gonna get distracted by anything. And that's about the extent of my attention span is about 25 minutes. After those 25 minutes, naturally I'm gonna get distracted. So I know that if I can just hone in on something for 25 minutes, I'm gonna get a four minute break afterwards. And that leaves a goal in your mind to say, man, you know what, let me, let me hit this hard. Let me focus on this um, because in a couple minutes, I'm going to have a, some free time. And that's cool because you can look forward to that. That's that prize. It's like, no, 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 don't get distracted. I can check my Facebook in and I look at the timer in three minutes. I can check my Facebook in two minutes. All right, it's time to check my Facebook. So those are ways to minimize distractions. The last thing I'm going to leave you because I'm almost to the final destination is... Um, Setting up uh, like filters on your computer that block you from either certain websites or block you from the internet altogether. So I have an app that's called uh, Self Control on Mac. Um, and so what I do is I set that timer for let's say like an hour or um, 30 minutes. And what I do is I set that timer and the reason I set it is because it'll block me off of the internet completely for that, partic like for that whole hour. So I do that so that I don't have any type of distraction during that time. And if I do lose my self-control and say, oh, let me go ahead and check my Facebook, I'm not gonna be able to because it's gonna block that website. So that's something that works for me. Some of you guys may have jobs where you can't do that because you need to be on the internet uh, during that time. When I'm editing, typically what I do is I'll go ahead and um, download all of the music, all of the assets, the video clips and everything, um, and then I'll start editing so I don't really need the, the internet to edit. Um, and so usually that becomes a distraction because I'll start off with something like, oh, you know, I'll just check out YouTube to get some inspiration. And then, you know, two hours have gone by and all I've been doing is watching YouTube videos. Uh, and that's not good because you don't get any work done. So anyways, guys, that right there is uh, the car talk for today. I hope that was helpful. I hope those are some tips and tricks that uh, you can use to, you know, become a little bit more focused in your day. Um, join me for next week's car talk. And uh, stay safe, be good, peace out.